The soil, this beautiful thing we step on, is formed by a continuous process through physical degradation and chemical decomposition of the ground that, when exposed to the atmosphere, the ground suffers direct action of heat, water from the rain, and other factors that modify their physical aspects together with their chemical composition. The soil is organized in layers that are named horizons, O, A, E, B, C, and R. The first horizon is called Horizon O, or organic, and is the superficial layer of the soil, and is the one we have the most contact with, being the one where things sprout out of and we walk on. The second horizon is a or top soil which is composed of dirt and humus, being a region where the largest amount of wood and decomposed organisms are found. The third horizon is E or loveated, being composed of clay and oxides of iron, and sometimes roots can get there. The next horizon is B or subsoil, a mineral tear composed by reduced amounts of organic material and compound accumulation of resist minerals being hit only by very deep width. The second to last horizon we see our parent material, the mineral layer, partially altered, containing large bits of the original rock, still in process of weathering. At last, the deepest horizon is R, that is the bedrock or the mother rock, the one that gave origin to the soil above, through suffering, erosion and other factors, and is mostly inaltered. Erosion, river siltation, desertification and wear, for example, are problems that damage the soil. Gullets are a cause of damaged soil too. It's a geological phenomenon that consists in the formation of big holes of erosion caused by water, rain and bad weather in soil. To prevent it from damaging the soil, it's necessary to dot the water flow. Also, the restoration of these gullets is but too expensive. The mineral the mother rock is composed of the weather, the horizon's relief, the organisms and the time, air factors of the formation of the soil. Its conservation may be fulfilled by tracing, contrast, tree cultivation, country association and country rotation, among other conservation techniques. The most effective being by not removing the original flora, keeping the already held soil as it is, as well as everything that depends on it, which means everyone.